The Tupelo Public School District is committed to creating authentic learning opportunities for students. TPSD team is also focused on increasing STEAM initiatives in alignment with the Toyota Wellspring Education Fund. As a part of our District of Innovation process, the school district team identified Project Lead the Way, a nonprofit focused on helping students develop skills in engineering, biomedical science, and computer science fit the district's needs. Project Lead the Way, or PLTW for short, provides hands-on learning opportunities to develop the four C's of 21st century learners as communicators, collaborators, critical thinkers, and creative problem solvers. During the 1920 year, third through fifth grade students participated in engineering work during gifted classes and biomedical science exploration in specials classes. PLTW has engaged our teachers, students, and community, and we would like to showcase some of the work taking place in our classrooms. What I've enjoyed most about Project Lead the Way is that the children, uh, the students, actually get a visualization of how things work. Um, instead of just looking in the textbook, we do the hands-on part of it, and they actually get the feel of it, and they get a better understanding. Because a, a, a child that doesn't have that ability to actually sit down and just look at a book and see what's happening. If hands-on, they can be like, oh, okay, I, I understand it that way. I don't like to be a scientist because of all the science we do, it seems like a big thing and you can do a lot of stuff with it. This morning we started off by examining LED lights and coin batteries and predicting what would happen when we put the legs of the LED on the coin battery. Um, and then after looking at the concept of the electrical current and the electrical circuit that goes through the LED, um, I gave them a flashlight and they had to plan how they were going to take apart the flashlight and what they were going to find and what types of energy conversion they were going to see in the flashlight um, and then they would take it apart and see if their predictions were correct and correct them if they weren't. Um, and then we looked at energy sources and transfer and how we took energy from plants like uh, coal plants, um, hydroelectric plants, and see how we move the electricity from the plant to our homes. And now they are um, researching different types of energy sources um, to see how their effect on the environment, the types of energy conversion that they go through, and maybe which ones are better for human use and which ones are easier to do and easier to convert. Um, and they're making a concept map out of that and they're going to present it to each other so that we can learn about different energy sources. In Ms. Amos' class, we learn a lot about robots, getting to research them, pick a robot, and figure out what its mindset is supposed to do. I picked the K5 robot. It's a military-based robot. I had to make a Google slideshow telling the information, what it does, and what it's made for. It's made for security for the military, so it could send the robot in instead of having to risk a human's life. I really like Project Lead the Way because it expands your mind knowledge about something regularly you wouldn't think about until you're in a much higher grade. Tupelo Public School District has partnered with the Community Development Foundation, the CREATE Foundation, Toyota, the North Mississippi Medical Center, and now with Project Lead the Way. We're here to transform the student experience, empowering students, teachers, and administrators with a nationally recognized STEM curriculum, and then connecting business and industry with educators, that transforms everything. That's a really powerful move for this community. Look out, Mississippi. Tupelo Public School District is raising the bar. Today during our lesson with Project Lead the Way, students were instructed to build a test bed, which is the very beginning of their robot, and it's the motor, the brains of their robot. So they're learning to actually code or program different um, components to make it move, to make it stop, to make it have a sensor if it were to change colors or to um, actually make it stop in case they, they wanted an emergency stop. And push them until you hear a click. Alright. Okay. 
through through this lesson, students have learned to use, um, they call it color sensors, which is really just a stop and go. Green means go, stop, if they wanted to make it, make their robot stop or halt or find a sensor, um, if there was an object in its way, if they wanted to move, um, they found out that they would program it using a color sensor and also using color blocks and when they wave it through, um, it makes it stop or it makes it go. They were also um, were able to learn how to control the speed using um, different um, a button or the joystick on the remote. I've learned that um, force is either a push or a pull. I don't like vegetables really, so if I they, it's the plates right here. I will push the plate away. That will be a force. I don't want to tell you everything about Project Lead the Way, but I want to tell you that it's just really good and it can lead up with science experiments too. So I want to be probably a doctor because these days lives have been taken, so I want to keep those lives around. And who knows, probably in a few years, I may think of being a teacher. My fifth grade class is focusing on a biomedical-based unit. The title of our focus unit is Infection Detection. Today in class, you will see the students actively participating in a visual representation of the spread of germs and communicable disease. The Project Lead the Way kit came with everything we need in order to complete this experiment. I will infect students with germs. This is actually a germ simulation powder which is only visible under an ultraviolet light. We have individual UV flashlights that the students can view the active spread of germs from one person to another. I love this activity because students can visually study something that is so common but also something they've never before been able to see. We then do an experiment to determine which soap works best at ridding our hands of those nasty germs. We experimented with foam soap and bar soap. The students washed their hands and came to the conclusion that foam soap worked best at ridding our hands of those germs. My favorite part of Project Lead the Way is when we got to make our paper airplanes and we got to see how far they flew. I learned that thrust and lift is pretty much the same exact thing and that drag, when you're like on a swing and you swing it, you, your feet drag so you can stop. Keep working hard, do what you love, make sure to succeed. Also, keep working at it like I did and you'll turn out smart and kind. The Tupelo Public School District is grateful for our strong partnership with the Toyota USA National Foundation and the local Toyota Wellspring Education Fund. Toyota's commitment to STEAM initiatives, career connections, and authentic learning experiences is exemplified by their support of Project Lead the Way. The initial pilot of PLTW has been 100% funded by these two entities, and we would like to say thank you.